Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create that Christmas pattern. I already have free tutorials about patterns and it's summer pattern, autumn pattern and spring pattern. And if you want, you can make that tutorial and then go to those tutorials and you will find those tutorials below this video and if you're interested you can create all patterns on my youtube channel and now guys let's start to create our christmas pattern let's go and guys if you want to start sell your designs online for example on adobe stock or shutterstock when I invite you to meet with my new book, 50 Easy Ideas, it's a book for a beginner designers who wants to start sell their designs online, as I already said. And if you want to know more about my book, you can go below that tutorial and you will find the link on my book below the tutorial. And as well, here you can find video instruction about my book and my 10,000 portfolio on Adobe Stock. Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look and to download an original Victor file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. Well guys, hope your workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take red color and pen tool and draw the first element. It's pretty easy. Don't worry, it's ugly at first, but then it will be pretty cute. Okay, let's take direct selection tool, select that corner, hold and drag to round the corner. The same here and here and a little here. Now select the element, take smooth tool and smooth the shape a little like this. Now let's take light color and ellipse tool and let's create the other element here. And now we need to create a lot of small ellipses to create something like fur on our sock. Like this. Okay. Select the fur and the finder unite, make it a little bigger. Rotate a little. Okay. Now let's take orange color and brush tool. We need that option here. And let's draw here something like this. Select it, change the size to 0 0.5. Now let's take light color and again brush tool and draw here one more shape like this and one more shape here. Some strokes. Okay, and the first element is ready. Now let's create next one. Now we need 
Egan red color and ellipse tool. Create here the ellipse. Take direct selection tool, select that point, move it down. Make it a little longer. Go to, sorry, select that point and move it a little down. And now again select the object, effect, distort and transform, free distort and move those points to the center like that. OK, object, expand appearance. Now take this color and rectangle tool and create one more detail here. Make it smaller, select the whole element, align, now bring it to front, make four copies. Ok, now select this color and now that one, here yellow and one more yellow. Ok. Now let's add details. We need light color and brush tool. And let's create here some highlights. Let's make them a little thinner. Let's at first select them. And the size will be 0 0.5. OK. And now select every element and go to object export. OK. Now we need to group every element. OK. Now make it smaller and let's rotate elements like that. Select the color and brush tool and let's draw here something like this. Okay. Now let's uh, move those details to make the design more pretty. OK, here object expand appearance, group the whole design and select the whole design and group it. And the same here, object expand appearance and group it. OK. Now let's move on. Let's take red color again and ellipse tool. Let's, cre uh, let's create the ellipse here. Make two copies. Now let's take green color and ellipse tool. And now let's create the leaf with the help of ellipses. like this. Uh, now let's take light color and brush tool and create here some details. Like this. Select the whole design. But at first let's select the lines and um, make them thinner. I think 0 0.5 is pretty good and object expand appearance. Now we need to unite the leaf, select all details and Pathfinder unite, select the whole leaf and group it. Now rotate it, move those details to front. 
Now let's play with the leaf. Let's uh, copy it, rotate. Like this. Select, move down. Let's rotate it a little. Let's look closer. Let's take this color and uh, brush tool and create some elements here. Okay. Let's rotate them and make them a little thinner. 0.5 make the details a little shorter okay let's uh, select all details and make them shorter let's rotate okay now let's take light color in the stroke and brush tool and draw here the highlight. Now let's create the highlight and this detail and make the copies. Okay. Now uh, let's make this element light color and this one. Okay, pretty good. Now let's select the element and go to object, expand appearance, make it group it at first and make it smaller. Okay, now let's take light color and ellipse tool. Make the ellipse like this. Now let's create, uh, let's take the skin color and ellipse tool and make one more ellipse like this. It will be Santa Claus. Now ellipse tool again and make one ellipse like this here. And make the copies like this. Okay. Now let's take dark green color and ellipse tool and create one small ellipse here. It's the eye and make the copy. It's the second eye. Okay. Now let's take ellipse tool, create the ellipse here, change fill to stroke, take uh, this brush, the size 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 better or 4, take that point and delete it. Now make the smile smaller, move here, it's already pretty cute, let's take red color and ellipse tool and create the nose, make it smaller, take that point and move it down, okay. Now let's take ellipse tool with red color and create one more cheek here and the second here. Let's move the eyes to the center like this. Okay, I think it's great, but I think maybe let's back the eyes like this 
um, now uh, I need light color and brush tool and create here eyebrows the size 0 0.5 and one more copy here now let's move the eyes a little down like that now I think it looks more cute uh, now let's take um, this element and move a little up uh, now let's take green color light green color and um, brush tool and create here their element of the head our Santa uh, okay Santa's head and let's smooth it with help of smooth tool now let's take red color and ellipse tool create here the ellipse like this make that element a move that element to front and select this point with the direct selection tool move a little up make the head a little bigger and now we need to play with points a little with help of direct selection tool move them a little down like this select that point and move that to the right and make the head a little wider okay now uh, let's select their eye and move and this one move a little to the ears let's create here orange ellipse okay take that point and move to the right and that one to the left okay let's take white color and brush tool and create some strokes like this let's move them, them a little to make more interesting view select all point all strokes and make them uh, 0 0.5 okay make them a little bigger object expand appearance here copy and paste that element and bring to backwards and move a little down the copy and take white color and the same here copy and paste bring to backward the copy and may take white color okay uh, now let's uh, select these elves let's squeeze it a little and move these ellipses a little up and like this uh, and now let's take direct selection top tool and move uh, these points to make a little unperfect view okay it's cute move the nose a little up and the mouth the same a little wider the mouth okay it's ready now select it 
object, expand appearance and group it. It's ready. The next element, let's take light color and brush tool and let's draw here the candy. Select it, let's take that brush, object, expand appearance. Now let's take this color and pen tool and create some details for our candy. It's pretty easy here. Okay, the details are ready. Select the candy and the details and Shape Builder tool, hold Alt and delete unwanted parts. Okay, it's ready. Uh, now let's uh, fix it a little. Let's take a direct section tool and move the point. Now let's, uh, let's select the smooth tool and smooth it. It will be not very perfect, but more interesting view. And let's do the same with other shapes of the candy. Smooth it. If you like, you can delete some details beyond the candy with Shape Builder tool, or let's stay it like that uh, as you like it. So the candy is ready. Now, again, brush tool and dark green color. Let's create here the first stroke and make uh, the size I think 0 0.5 um, and create some more details like this select the design and the size will be 0 0.3 I think it's better and a light uh, red color and ellipse tool. Take the ellipse and make some copies like this and make some elements with white color. Okay, now select the element, object, expand appearance and uh, of course group it and group the candy. Rotate a little. Okay, uh, and now let's create the um, uh, next element. Let's write here with the help of text to ho ho ho. The font you will find below this tutorial. Let's select the red color and the font this one. Create outlines, make it bigger. Okay, it's ready. Uh, now the next element. The next element will be their star. Let's take light green color and pen tool and create the star okay now let's take light color and uh, create the snowflake we need the line tool and line color uh, white color light color and the basic brush Selected, transform, rotate 90 degrees. OK, copy. And now let's uh, select both lines. Uh, make the copy, make the smaller. 
and put here. Take dark section tool, select that point, make it shorter and make shorter this point. Okay, the snowflake is ready. Go to object expand, okay, and group it. Okay, let's uh, take light color and brush tool and create something like this. And one more element. And make them thinner, for example, 0 0.5. Okay, oh, let's... Uh, okay, it's ready. Now let's add some ellipses with help of uh, curvature tool and light color okay make some copies but you can do it uh, later Let's make uh, some copies of the star and make it different color. Uh, now let's uh, add some details. Uh, let's uh, select uh, this element, copy and paste it. Uh, Pathfinder Unite, bring that element to front and move that element here and uh, group it. And now do the same with the sock. Select, copy and paste, Pathfinder Unite, move here, send this element to front and that one here. Okay, and now let's uh, select the element and group it. Okay, uh, it's ready. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to add uh, a little texture to your design. Go to brushes, free lines, open brush library, artistic, and select that library. We need this brush. Now uh, it's here. You can close the window. Take this light red color and that brush we need uh, the color in the stroke and take the brush uh, let's select that shape and draw here the line like this okay um, let's make it a little bigger rotate move here make it bigger uh, let's change here the transparency to 35 and uh, now you can add uh, the texture to other elements you can do it or you can not do it as you like play with the size of the texture play with the, uh, the transparency till you like the result like this okay now let's like this to element and make the size 0 0.3 object expand appearance uh, now let's uh, expand appearance to the elements where we add the texture and group them And the last one, this one. Okay. Let's make the text a little bigger. Now copy and paste it. Bring the copy to backward. Move it a little down. This one to front. And select that color. In the fill. Okay. It's ready, select it and group it. Okay, 
all details of the pattern are ready and grouped let's make the details uh, a little smaller okay now let's move um, the pattern elements um, we need to create the first square of the pattern uh, maybe it will be easy to create the square like this let's make the stroke to see it and now in that square you can move the elements to create the first part of the pattern okay now we can delete the square make the elements smaller move here and now go uh, now select again the elements go to object pattern make okay uh, now let's select here uh, that brick brick to column i think it looks more interesting if you like you can always move uh, the details in the pattern when you create the pattern like this now here done and now you see your pattern here in the swatches panel let's select the elements move here now let's take pin color in the fill to create the background and now let's take the button rectangle tool and the button is ready if you don't like something for example i don't like uh, there are stars uh, the green stars uh, here i select the pattern double click and delete this Part, uh, this element just press delete on your keyboard and uh, delete the star okay it's ready uh, and now if you want you can move some details for example let's take this snowflake and move it down like that okay it's ready now let's press here done okay it's ready now it's more beautiful i think and our pattern is ready you can use those elements for example to create some stickers well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys bye